Hello and welcome back to the TikTok Workshop. Right, this week we're making up another tool. We're doing lesson three in the BHI distance learning course here. And uh, let me give you a quick description of the tool that we're going to be making. So in this exercise, we should be making a small steel engineer's scraper. The scraper is a very simple tool, yet it is capable of removing very small amounts of metal from the work with a high degree of precision. It will be found useful for removing small scratches from brass clock plates, correcting slight inaccuracies in machined or filed surfaces, and can be used to impart a decorative finish. Now, what's going to make this tool interesting this week is we've got to harden the tip, which means that I finally get the blowtorch out, and I've been really looking forward to this. But before we get to that stage, uh, we're going to be repeating the skills that we learnt last week. We're going to be marking out the basic shape of the tool. Uh, then we're going to be cutting and filing everything nice and true. So I'm going to crack on with that right now. So this is the bit of metal that we're going to be using today. The same stuff as last week. This is a ground flat stock, three mil thick. And uh, if any of you are wondering why I always seem to have a spare bit of metal lying around that's nearly the exact size that I need it, that's because uh, I got the stock materials that I'm using in all of these lessons from these guys over at Livesteam Models Limited. And uh, they do a little pack there with all of the materials that you're going to need for the course. And uh, they even come in look, individually sealed in little bags, uh, numbered up to tell you which lesson they're for. So that has been really handy. But this bit of stock isn't quite perfect, so uh, I need to start off just by filing this edge down. Now we move on to marking up, cutting out and filing the rest of the tool. Okay, guys, are you ready for this? Du, 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 du. Look at that. I'm really, really happy with the way that this has come out. So, we've got that chamfering job done. So, we start off at 3 mil here and come down to the end. I've given it a bit of a polish and a buff. And uh, the great thing about this tool was that I managed to get this tool done a lot quicker than I did last time. And I didn't cut any corners. Um, this time around, I was much braver getting all of the rough metal taken out at the beginning and uh, it made the whole job much 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 quicker so i've set this file into an old file handle so i've got something to hold on to when we come around to heating and uh, that's the next job that we're going to be doing now so we're just heating the tip up we're not heating the whole um tool just the tip because we only want the the tool at the end to be hardened because uh, when we harden stuff up, we also make it more brittle, and you don't want your tang to be brittle. So uh, the next job I'm going to do now is I'm going to coat this in a bit of soap, and then we're going to hit it with some fire. Glorious, glorious fire. So I don't know why I'm sitting around here talking. I'm going to get on and crack out the blowtorch. I'm just mixing up the soap here. This is just a little bit of water and some normal... Bar soap. Now, it said bar soap in the instructions. I just assume they just mean normal soap. But we're soon going to find out. And uh, I'm mixing this up. Like an old barber used to mix up before you gave someone a shave. So uh, give me a couple of minutes to get these lumps out and we'll be ready to go. Okay, we're ready to go here. So I've got the end of the tool covered in soap here. As I said before, we're just doing the tip. Uh, we've got some engine oil here, which is we're going to be quenching the tool in afterwards because we don't want to cool it down too quickly. Uh, we've got the blowtorch ready to go. Hopefully this blowtorch is good enough to do the job. I've got all of my safety equipment on and uh, I'll be throwing a set of gloves on. So let's crack on and see if I can do this. Right, so actually I better explain to you what we're actually going to be doing. So we're going to be heating the tip up. Uh, to a nice bright red and we've got to keep it there for one minute and then we're going to be dipping it in the oil and hopefully after that it shall be hardened so uh, let's give this a go
Right, we're aiming for the tip of the first blue cone here, so let's go. So there's our red colour starting to come in. Right, we're up to a red. I'm going to be keeping it there for a minute. Right, that should be enough. Let's give it a go. Let's leave that there. I'll turn that off. Right, let's see how that turned out. Okay, there we go. Right, you, you can see all of that black scaling that's happened. That's the exercisation. So uh, I'm going to give that a clear off. And, uh, oh, wait a minute, we need to test it. We need to test to see if the hardening worked. So hopefully, if we rub a file against this, it shouldn't mark the work. You're going to see some scraping because it's going to scrape off this black. So let's have a look. That's just skidding across the surface there. I think we were successful. Yeah, look at that. Right, I'm going to clean this up. Right, so we've given everything a bit of a buff and a polish. Now, I haven't... Um, all I've done is I've thrown a bit of auto sole over this. Uh, they recommend finish up with a bit of 400, which uh, wet and dry, which I'll do in a minute. But I just wanted to inspect under the microscope uh, to see what kind of effect that had. And as you can see here, if you look further down the tool, We've got like this fairly consistent pitting pattern and there's some scratches in there because my polishing isn't perfect. But if we go up to the end or tip of the tool, you can see this scaling uh, on the end here. You can probably see it. Now, I haven't sanded this out yet. Apparently, we have to get a bit of 400 wet and dry to uh, get this out. But what I was thinking is that this um, pattern is probably going to be more useful to you guys to be able to tell me if I've done this correctly or not, because that doesn't look completely even across the tip. I think I might have made a mistake there somehow, and I'm not exactly sure that I got the soap and stuff like that right. So if you can see a problem with this, let me know, will you? Because I've got no tutor feedback. I've got no way of knowing if I've done this right or not. And this is how the tip looks now that I've given it a bit of a clean up with some 400. All of that scaling seems to have gone. 
Right, I've grabbed a bit of scrap brass here, and hopefully, if things have turned out well, this should do some scraping. So let's see what we got. Well, that does seem to be doing its job properly. Well, I'm really happy with that. It, uh, that's my first proper hand tool. Oh, I'm chuffed to bits. I cannot begin to tell you how happy I am with this tool. I really am. I know this is the third tool that we've made, uh, but for some reason, this feels more substantial than the hand levers and the... Uh, Toolmaker's Square that we made before. Now, we are going to be testing this out in the future. I'm going to find myself a bit of a plate uh, to scrape flat, but that's not going to be this week because we need to get on with some theory work. So in the next episode, we're going to be doing some train calculations, and uh, it's more fun than it sounds. I've got three or four clocks that we can do this kind of testing on, and uh, I'm quite looking forward to that. To be able to sit down at the computer and not have to worry about getting little bits of swarf over everything. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say is I wanted to say a massive, massive thank you to all the clockmakers out there that have emailed me and offered me their services. And I, I just, I don't know what to say. I'm so grateful um, that uh, I've got a love, I've got a professional eyes peering over my shoulder and uh, are there to help me point out where I've gone wrong and things. Now, what I want to do is offer that forward to anybody else. So if you're having uh, if you're attempting this or doing any kind of metal work and you think that um, there's some way that I can help you, please let me know because we've got a nice little community thing going on here now and it would be nice if we could help each other out a little bit more. And, uh, of course, I'm going to forward on all the help that uh, people have offered me as well. So that just leaves me to say thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, this was a really fun episode to make. Uh, I really look forward to seeing you guys on the next episode and uh, go and get your hands dirty. Do 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 do